Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. So for today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I created this backdrop for a masquerade theme party that we had. So for this backdrop, I made three different kinds of flowers and right now let's get started and I'm going to show you the first kind. So this is just going to be a simple large flat flower and for this we're going to use the large uh, petal template, medium and small and you can download the templates below in my description box. I have them available there. So first you're going to take your templates, you're going to trace it out on white cardstock paper and you're going to cut out eight of the large petals, six of the medium petals, and six of the small petals. So first you're going to cut a slit almost halfway down the petal and you're going to slightly fold that slit on top of the flower and glue it down. So the size of the slit is what's going to control how much the flower is going to project out towards you. So because here we did a very big slit, the flower is going to be very flat. In the next type of flower that I show you, I'm going to do a small slit and that's going to cause the flower to project out towards you more. You're going to repeat this step for all of the petals. So next I just freehand cut a circle from one of my cardstock papers and this is going to provide the base for my flower to be glued to. So next I just evenly laid out my eight large flower petals to the base and then I began to just glue them down. So I glued the sides of the petals together as well just to make sure that the flower was overall more sturdy. So before you glue your petals down, you're supposed to curl each of the petals and I'm just using a butter knife to curl the petal back here and you're just going to gently pull on the ends and curl the petal back. So once again, I'm using my butter knife to curl the petals back for the medium and the small petals. So after all the petals have been curled, I went ahead and glued the six medium petals down and then inside that I glued the six small ones. So after the petals have all been glued down to the flower, uh, for the center bud of the flower, I wanted to do something with beads. So I went ahead and bought some beads from the Dollar Tree and I had gold spray paint at home. So in my garage, I just went ahead and spray painted all the beads gold. And then I'm just gonna put a lot of glue in the center of the flower and just glue down those gold spray painted beads. So this is how the flower looks when it's all finished and done and this was actually the easiest out of the three flowers that I'm going to show you how to do and it took the least amount of time to make. So here's another flower that I made using the exact same style and technique that I made for the white one but I did it in black and once again I used gold beads in the center. The only difference is I used a different template and you can download that template in the description box below as well and for the black flower I used the small, medium and large petal as well. So next I'm going to show you guys how to do a projection style flower and I'm using template number two for this. You can find it in the description box below and we're going to use the small petal uh, template medium and large for this. So once again you're going to start by taking your templates, tracing them on cardstock paper and you're going to cut out eight large uh, petals, six medium.
of cardstock paper and you're gonna just fold it over on itself and cut slits, small slits all along the strip. Next, you're gonna add some glue to the tip and roll the center bud onto itself and keep adding glue and keep rolling it on. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing with another sheet and I'm gonna glue the initial bud that I've made into that and you're gonna roll both of them together to make a bigger bud for your flower. Next, you're just going to glue the bud to the center of the flower. So the flower wasn't very sturdy, so I went ahead and glued all the outside large petals um, together. So I just put glue on the sides of each of the petals and glued them together so that the flower wasn't moving anymore. So this is how the flower looks when it's all done. I did go ahead and spray paint this flower gold after this because our color scheme was black, white, and gold. So I made a white flower using the exact same technique, exact same template. I just added eight of the large XL uh, petal size to the outer border. So if you just want to keep making the flowers bigger, all you have to do is add another layer of a larger size template. Um, to the outside border. So I added eight of the extra large um, size petals here. And I also spray painted the center bud in the white flower gold before I glued it in. So the last of the three flowers I'm going to show you how to make is the rose. It's template number three in the description box below. And for this, you're going to want to cut out eight of the small petals, 12 of the medium size petals, and eight of the large petals. So you're going to start by curling the petals in. I'm going to use my butter knife and start on one side of the petal, curl that in towards me, and then do the same thing on the other side of the petal. So this part is a little time consuming, so at one point I just grabbed two, three petals at a time and started curling them together, one side of the petal and then the other side. So now we're going to start by making the bud of the rose. For this you're going to use the eight small petals. So first you're going to start by gluing two petals at the base together, and you're going to do that for all eight of the petals. Next, you're going to overlap the petals, forming a plus sign, and uh, glue them down like that. So to start the bud off, you're going to take one petal, doesn't matter which one, and you're going to curl it in on itself um, to make like a small circular opening. And you're just going to glue that um, the sides of the petal in so you have that one small opening. Now this is going to be the beginning of your rosebud. So you're going to take the petal directly across from it and put glue on the sides and glue it to the opening. And you're just going to leave a little bit of space um, not too much, just a little bit, and glue that down. Now you're going to bring the petals from the other two sides, put glue on them, and glue them to the center of the opening as well. And I like to leave even spaces, so however much of a gap I left on one side, I like to do on the other as well. Now you're going to add glue to the base of this bud and glue it into the other four petals and do the same thing, bringing the petals in one at a time and leaving the same amount of space on either side of the petals. So 
So next you're going to turn the bud upside down and we're going to start gluing on the medium sized petals. So now when you're adding the medium sized petals, I always like to work evenly. If you're going to add one petal, make sure on one side, make sure you have a, another petal directly on the opposite side just so that it gives you that symmetrical look. So when you're gluing the first four petals down, you're going to glue it so that the curves of the petal are facing towards you. So the petal is curving or curling away from the center of the bud. So you're going to add glue to the sides of the first petal that you're going to glue down and you're going to use your thumb and your middle finger to press where you added the glue while at the same time using your index finger to push the rose petal out or to create like a curve in the center. I'm just going to use my hands to gently curl back each of the petals as well as I glue them on. So once again here I'm using my index finger to bend the petal to create, create that shape and I'm going to use my thumb and my middle finger to hold the glue in position um, when I'm gluing the petal on. So if you want to glue the petals closer to the bud, the center bud of the flower, all you have to do is run the glue up higher on the sides of the petals and that way glue it uh, closer to the bud. I just wanted this flower to be um, more bigger and um, open so because of that I just ran the glue a little bit I didn't go all the way up so that's why the petals are a little further from the center of the bud so for the next set of four medium petals you're going to glue them in between the last um, four petals that you put so you don't want to directly put them on top not overlapping them but in in between each of the two petals So after you've added the 12 medium sized petals, you get this size of a flower. It's a small rose. And here's another one that I've done in white. So you can stop here if this is the size that you want. We're going to go ahead and add the eight large to get a bigger size flower. So when you're adding the large petals, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to add your large petal in between the last two sets of flower petals that you put, and you're going to glue them down. So after the eight large petals have been glued down, this is how the flower looks. And we're going to go ahead and use my gold spray paint. And I'm just going to spray paint this because our color scheme is black, white, and gold. So here are all the different roses I made using the same technique. Um, all you have to do to get the different sizes is stop layering if you want a smaller one or just add more layers if you want a bigger rose. To hang the flowers, I glued ribbon to the back of each one of the flowers and I secured it with cardstock paper on top. So for the backdrop portion, I just took a long piece of ribbon and I uh, glued streamers that I got from the Dollar Tree, um, equal length all the way across the ribbon. So I got this backdrop from Hobby Lobby. It's in black and gold and it was three feet wide and I just wanted to add a little bit of gold to my backdrop so I took this backdrop and I cut it up into I think about um, 10 pieces or 12 pieces and then I evenly glued that along the backdrop as well just to add a little bit of color with the gold. So when I hung the backdrop to see how it looked, it was really, um, there was a lot of gaps in there. So I took two more streamers 
uh, rolls of streamer from the Dollar Tree and I glued those in while the backdrop was still hanging. I glued them onto the ribbon just to fill in all those gaps. So next I just hung the flowers to the backdrop. I tried not to put much weight on the backdrop itself because I didn't want that to fall. So I was taping most of the ribbon to the wall itself. Um, if you have a backdrop stand, of course, you can just use that ribbon and tie it to the rod. But I didn't have that. We were setting it up on a wall anyway. So I just put a lot of tape and none of the flowers fell. So it was great. So the black roses that I made were blending in with the backdrop a lot. So I just went ahead and used that spray paint that I had and just lightly sprayed them uh, with a little bit of gold just to get them to pop a little bit. So this backdrop turned out great, everybody loved it, and it was super inexpensive. I think the entire thing only cost me about $20. So uh, let me know what you guys think, and if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do get notified whenever I post my latest videos. And I will see you guys in another tutorial, God willing. Bye!